Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I share four principles that you must develop in order for you to become a great elite level leader. The question is that, do you want to become a leader or do you want to become a follower? If you want to become a leader, learn these tools and put into use and you're going to appreciate as you move on. The number one thing is, it's your ability to make difficult decisions. Remember, anyone can make decisions in easy times. Anyone may, can make easy decisions as well. It's the difficult decision that counts as a great leader. A lot of the companies that I've seen, this difficult decision, the most important decision, goes back and forth from different departments. Weeks and weeks, months and months, sometimes even years. We're living in a time that we can't afford to have that because the advent of the new technology and the world has shrunk and is shrinking even further. We're living in almost a borderless world. So you're gonna get wiped out from another competitor from nowhere if you're gonna stall time like that. So you've got to make decisions and you have, you have to make difficult decisions and you have to do it fast. In that process, remember, you may or may not be a popular person in your company or whatever the entity that you're a leader. We don't make decisions to entertain people. We make decisions because it's the right thing to do. But remember, this is not a ticket for you to now be egoistic and do whatever the hell you like against everybody's will. I didn't say to entertain your ego. I said don't entertain the people in order, in the process of doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing because it's the right thing. Later on, sooner or later, everyone's gonna turn around and really appreciate you for the fact that you made those difficult decisions. And one of the things that people actually don't want to make difficult decisions is that they think, am I gonna lose the entire plot? Am I gonna fail if I make the decision? The thing is that you'll find out sooner if you make the decision. There are no 100% right or 100% wrong decisions. You make the decisions and you back it up with your actions. Here you find a way. So you really need to make that call. The visibility as a leader is a, is a problem that I see not just leaders, but every person that I know. A lot of people come to or jump to rather conclusions with very less visibility. And a lot of people make conclusions, judgments on certain things with no visibility, minimum visibility, and later on embarrass themselves when they found out they were totally wrong. So as a leader, you can't afford to have that. So you need to ask yourself, every time you are presented some facts or scenario or some problem, ask yourself this question, do I have enough visibility of this matter? This example is, Toyota Technology have this thing called Genchi Gimbutsu. It's a really good system that they use where Genshi Gimbutsu meaning that go and find out yourself. Go to the source. When I actually explored that and I found out, they extracted that from Buddhist philosophy called Ehi Pasuko. Buddha is giving an invitation to come and explore these Dhamma and find out the empirical evidence for you not to follow these or not. So it's an open invitation, come and find out by yourself rather than blindly follow. So the closer you go, more visibility you have and then you're in a better position to make a accurate decision. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people depend on very especially the immediate team who give them very distorted image and they make a decision on that and then they fail. So it's important that you yourself go to straight into the source and find out from yourself as well. Even if you have a really trustworthy, excellent, um, educated and highly skillful team, remember they have a perspective. They have a, an angle of thinking, angle of seeing things. We never see the same thing exactly the same way. So as a leader, you must go and find it out by yourself. We have seen in these ancient stories where kings in Sri Lanka, India, Europe, etc. that there were stories that king would walk on these villages in disguise. While he has access to all those people, he still walked there in disguise, undercover, just to hear what people say about certain things. So he has direct visibility of certain things. So as a result, he became a good king and who knows how to uh, control his country. Learn how to influence people. Influence means that you know how to control them, lead them. If you don't know how to influence, you're not going to be successful as a leader because you command things, you ask people to do things, but they're not going to do it. The number one thing to be influential is learn how to influence yourself under really absolute distress time, absolute pressure. You should be able to control yourself and influence yourself in a situation like this. So if you are being carried away with a certain scenario happen that you get frustrated, disappointed, angry, and you're shouting everywhere, you are running around like a headless chicken, you then expect people to follow your orders. It's not gonna happen. People can see 
people actually look up to leaders. See, you need to learn how to influence yourself first before you influence anyone else. For that, there are certain things, things called human drivers, which I coach in my academy. And once you learn this academy, they understand, oh, this is like a game now. We know what drives us so I can influence myself. And then learn how to influence others. This influence comes in psychological level, tactical level. There are certain negotiation skills that you should learn. There are certain frames that happens as you speak with one person or, or a large group of people. So communication, a negotiation, influencing are bundled with this whole thing, one thing called influence. So you gotta learn it, you gotta master it if you wanna become a great leader. Before I move to the fourth principle, let me just introduce my Leadership Academy. All this while, I've been coaching leaders one-on-one. -on -one. There were chairmen, directors, managing directors, CEOs, general managers, etc. Vast majority of them actually are much more experienced and much more senior than me. It's been an absolute privilege to be able to coach them. And some one of the common things that I've learned was they became really successful, good leaders. They actually knew only 10% of what I thought them. Incredible. Imagine they knew about 80% of what I shared with them 20 years ago. Imagine how far they would have gone, how far they would have taken these companies forward in this country. So that's the beauty of it. You can apply for the first time. I open a batch enrollment. So we're gonna recruit a 20 to 30 group, a small group, and we're gonna go real intense with them for 12 weeks intensive leadership program, which consists of how to influence yourself, influence others, negotiation, top class, world class negotiation skills, sales skills, self-confidence, how to build your character, your communication, and in the end, we expose your fears to remove it and take you out of your comfort zone and do the last session in a very uh, cool, adventurous way. But the most important characteristic of this program is that we track and monitor your progress throughout the program and see how well you are actually using these leadership tools in your business or in your company, in your role. We track and monitor and find out how well it's working out for you and what's working, what's not working out for you and go really intimate level and really help you to really absorb every single thing that we could. According to my knowledge, it's, it's actually the only academy of its kind to actually bother to go to that extent. To be a great leader, you've got to have reasons beyond your self-greed. Ask yourself, do I want to become a big business leader or corporate leader, C-level, managing director, whatever? I want to become like that so I can have more money, I can have a better package, I get more recognition. Those are self driven reasons just for yourself. For you to become a great leader, you've got to have reasons beyond yourself greed. Bigger, longer the reason that you have beyond yourself, greater a leader that you will become. You become unstoppable. You actually have far more capacity to make critical decisions than anyone else. That's been proven in science as well. See what happens is now we've been coming as a humankind for 2.5 million years of evolution at one go. We've been civilized for about 10 to 12,000 years. So what outweigh is our un uncivilized traits at any given moment. In a split second, our uncivilized traits started uh, taking charge. Okay, that's how uh, your body and brain is designed. Your brain is not designed for you to thrive. Your brain is designed for you to survive. So as a result, you have fight or flight instincts kicking in you instantly under pressure. Now, we don't have actual threat like animals coming after you to eat, but we have business stress. We have corporate stress. So when you are thinking, okay, this is my role, I'm gonna lose my position, my package, whatever. Then this fight or flight instincts will recognize as this is you and you still will be heavily under duress or heavily under pressure. But the moment you have more reasons to become a leader than better than you, bigger than you, this fight or flight responses don't know how to recognize that in that kind of a state of mind. So as a result, these responses subside. So does your pressure, your stress. That gives you more ability for your brain to think clearly, to make critical decisions easily and better. That's why you need to have more reasons better than your personal greed in order to become a great leader. Hope that helps these four principles. Please put in use. We in a time that we need more leaders than ever for our business to go forward, our corporates to go forward, our society to go forward. I hope this video add value to you. So I'll speak to you again in another video. Until then, leave it spirit.